Amniocentesis is an optional procedure that can be done in pregnancy to test for certain genetic conditions and birth defects. Amniocentesis is usually performed at approximately 15 to 20 weeks of pregnancy at a doctor's office that specializes in doing this procedure. Using ultrasound as a guide, a very thin needle is inserted through the mother's abdomen into the amniotic sac, a fluid-filled area surrounding the baby. A small amount of fluid is withdrawn and sent to the laboratory for testing. This fluid contains some of the baby's cells. Just as you shed skin cells every day, so does the baby. Each of the baby's cells contains the baby's genetic information. The lab can look at the cells to determine if there are certain genetic conditions present in the baby. Typically, it only takes a couple of minutes to perform an amniocentesis. Many women experience some brief discomfort with amniocentesis, such as a sensation of cramping, pressure, or pinching. Usually, women return to their normal activities within one to two days following amniocentesis. It can take about two weeks for the complete test results to return from an amniocentesis. The most common conditions detected by amniocentesis are chromosome conditions, such as Down syndrome, trisomy 21, trisomy 18, trisomy 13, and differences in the number of X or Y chromosomes. Amniocentesis can also detect open neural tube defects, such as spina bifida, if requested. These conditions are all very different from one another. It is not always possible to know before a child is born how much their health will be affected. In some cases, additional genetic testing may be ordered to look for other conditions. There are other specific genetic tests that may be requested if a known genetic condition runs in a family or an abnormal ultrasound finding is seen. It is important to know that amniocentesis cannot detect all genetic conditions or birth defects. No test can guarantee the birth of a healthy baby. Amniocentesis is a diagnostic test, which means results are considered to be definitive for the conditions tested. In other words, this test can give you yes or no answers. Rarely, lab errors or uncertain results may occur. Amniocentesis does increase the risk for some complications, including leaking of amniotic fluid. Over 99% of the time, no serious complications occur. There is a small chance of miscarriage from having an amniocentesis. Making a decision about amniocentesis can be difficult because it is not risk-free. However, a diagnostic procedure such as amniocentesis can provide more definitive information about genetic conditions in your baby and can provide information about more genetic conditions than other screening tests, such as blood tests and ultrasounds. Decisions about genetic testing in your pregnancy should be based on your own beliefs, values, needs, and personality. See our video, How to Decide About Prenatal Genetic Testing, as you consider your prenatal testing options.